All right, guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with yet another video talking about how the man, the man, is trying to lock us out of our using our cryptos. Okay, so here we go. This is on the Telegraph. Uh, this is telegraph.co.uk. Visa locks down Bitcoin payment cards in crackdown on card user. So what do we have here? We have thousands of Bitcoin users have had their prepaid cryptocurrency cards shut down in a crackdown by Visa on a card provider. Several major prepaid cards that allow users to make payments and ATM withdrawals using their Bitcoin and cryptocurrency funds were suspended as of January 5th. Cards including BitPay, CryptoPay, and BitWalla all announced they had suspended their cards and were working to return funds to users. All the cards make payments using regular currencies such as pounds or euros, but allow users to fund the payments from Bitcoin or Ethereum wallets. This is from BitWalla. Following an announcement from our card issuer on behalf of Visa Europe, BitWalla cards are taken out of operation starting today. You know, what I find interesting about this is that there was no notice given whatsoever. Basically, they were they were rang, they were told, and, and Wavecrest is the um, is the card issuer in the in the EU. And one of the reasons why I'm somewhat familiar with Wavecrest, for those of you who's followed this channel for a while, is I'm a big proponent of uh, 10x, and 10x uses Wavecrest to provide uh, EU citizens with 10x wallets. Well, guess what? 10x uh, is also one of the companies that has been impacted, and... Uh, so have a couple of other ones as well. You can see Wavecrest cards were also set to be used by London's Block Exchange, which launched its Dragon card in November last year, which would have allowed users to spend different cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin provider BitPay was also affected, telling customers in an email, we are already in discussion with potential alternative issues for the BitPay card, which will allow us to serve customers in Europe and beyond. Visa said the cards have been suspended after Visa terminated Wavecrest membership due to continued non-compliance with our operating rules, although it said other Visa cards that convert Bitcoin into normal currency will not be affected. So it looks like they're not necessarily attacking uh, cryptos in general. They're attacking Wavecrest and how Wavecrest was operating internally. But still, that's going to have an effect on uh, those of us who are investing in these tokens that are using um, or, or you know trying to be in this niche. So if we uh, have a quick look over at CNBC, you can see Visa bans cryptocurrency back cards, leaving thousands in the lurch. Uh, again, on CNBC, Visa ended its relationship with a large cryptocurrency card provider on Friday, causing thousands of people's transactions to be declined and scrambling to figure out how to access their money. The card provider Wavecrest confirmed in an email to CNBC that it was required to immediately close all Visa cards. As a licensed e-money institution, Wavecrest is required to safeguard funds to cover all of its uh, issued electronic money, and we can confirm that these funds are safe and available for redemption through other channels. The statement read, Visa, a payment network, did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Of course they wouldn't. Uh, it goes on to say Wavecrest provided its services to a number of crypto card companies, including BitWalla, CryptoPay, WireX, and 10x. These companies convert people's cryptocurrencies into cash that is loaded onto a prepaid card, allowing people to use the currency for everyday transactions. Now, these cards are invalid. Now, once again, guys, this is only in the EU. And funny enough, I don't know if that includes uh, the UK right now because they're, they're exiting the EU, but I wouldn't count on your cards in, uh, in England working uh, at the moment either. Uh, we're talking about 500,000 cryptocurrency debit cards uh, have been... Uh, uh, put out across the world, and all the cards were shut down in one second. We asked for more information, but they haven't provided any. Uh, 10X, another, crypto card, uh, another cryptocurrency card company affected, tried to reassure users. Following an urgent communication from our card issuer, Wavecrest, payments on the 10X card will be unavailable. We are working on a solution, and we'll let you know further details as soon as we have them. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well... We also apologize for a 22.83% drop in the value of the tokens in the past 24 hours. You can see they've been absolutely smashed. They've been on a bit of a climb this past week. I was actually contemplating uh, maybe taking some profits. Again, there's been some questions about um, their ability to pay out dividends now because, again, they're trying to follow all these regulations around the world. So I'll have to revisit that. I've had some of my subs ask me what my thoughts are on that. Again, I've got to do some more research, but 
pretty strong volume in the last uh, you know the last 24 hours and uh, it's all been downward pressure because again if people don't know what to make of this does this mean that you know Visa is going to do this around the world was it only Wavecrest that was affected was it only 10x that was affected we can have a look at Centra Centra is another card provider that does pretty much the same thing they're down 16. 0.87%. Again, you can see it had a nice climb over the past uh, two weeks, and then they're giving a lot of that back just in the last 24 hours. Again, not quite the same uh, level of volume. And then we also look at Monaco. Again, they're trying to do the same thing. They're up 0.07%. So not sure what's happening there. These guys are also, they use Visa as their, um, you know, as their platform, as their transaction processor. So not sure what Monaco is going on there. Uh, if you're looking at trying to get into using crypto debit cards, you might want to um, to cover your butt and maybe do, look at a MasterCard solution as well, because again, MasterCard's obviously a different company from Visa. But anyway, guys, here we go. So the man is trying to clamp down once again, chasing the cryptos. Again, maybe this was just Wavecrest um, not doing the right thing and, and not following the rules but it has certainly affected uh, tens of thousands of people and has left anyone holding uh, a card for one of these companies with uh, the uh, inability to use it. So once again, just keeping up on the crazy news, how the, how the man is, is attacking the cryptos these days, you can tell that they are getting scared, guys. They're looking for any opportunity to shut these things down. And, um, you know, ultimately, we're not going to need Visa soon. Um, we're going to have peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Uh, you're going to have a lot of other platforms, a lot of ways to transfer money. And, and again, I think they see the writing on the wall, and they're just going to make it as difficult for these organizations as possible. So once again, some bad news for some of us out there that are trying to use cryptos in a, in a real-world real scenario. But then again, it's uh, always good to have uh, more than one iron in the fire. So again, maybe look for some other options and uh, keep an eye on this. This will be interesting news as it, uh, as it gets around the world. And uh, Crypto Kurt going to be out on this one, guys. See you later.